If you're intrigued by cryptocurrency, crime, and the length some will go for financial gain, you'll want to stick around. Let's set the scene. The year was 2021. Cryptocurrencies were soaring, gaining traction, and Turkey was home to one of its biggest digital asset trading platforms, Thodex. This was a company entrusted with billions in user assets, a symbol of the digital age's prosperity. But then, as quickly as a market crash, things took a turn for the worst. Thodex abruptly and mysteriously halted its services. No explanations, no prior warnings. And worst of all, $2 billion of users' assets vanished into thin air, just like that. Now, I want you to imagine the panic, the outrage, the confusion. At the center of this whirlwind of controversy was Farouk Fatih Azer, the CEO of Thodex. As the news broke, he wasn't in Turkey facing the music. He'd fled the country. Accusations flew, with many pointing fingers at him for orchestrating a grand exit scam. Ozer, however, refuted these claims. Fast forward to August 2022. A major update hits the headlines. Ozer has been detained. But here's the twist. He was in Albania, and not for the Thodex scandal initially, but for failure to submit tax documents. Now let's talk numbers. The charges laid against Ozer weren't minor. He was accused of establishing, managing, and being a member of an organization, qualified fraud, and laundering of property values. If proven guilty, these charges could mean serious jail time. April 2023 brought the climax everyone was waiting for. Ozer, after serving time in Albania, was extradited to Turkey to face his accusers and the justice system. The verdict? A jaw-dropping sentence of 11,196 years, 10 months, and 15 days in prison for Uzer and his two siblings. And let's not forget a cool $5 million fine. Now you'd think that would be the end of it. But Ozer had a defense, and he wasn't going down without a fight. He claimed in court that he and his family were victims of a massive injustice. His defense centered around the idea that Thodex was just another company that went bankrupt. He insisted there were no malicious or criminal intentions behind its downfall. He even made a bold statement, suggesting his intelligence and capability were being used against him. This wasn't just about Ozer. The Thodex case had a staggering 21 defendants. While many expected a clear-cut case, it turned out to be anything but. Only five of these defendants were present at the court hearings. Of the total, 16 were acquitted due to a lack of evidence. The rest? Their fate varied based on their involvement. So, what can we take away from this intricate web of crypto, crime, and punishment? The world of cryptocurrency is dynamic and promising but it's not without its perils. As with any financial venture, there are those who will try to exploit, deceive, and profit. The Thodex scandal is a cautionary tale, reminding us to be vigilant, do our due diligence, and remember that if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Thank you for tuning into this in-depth look at the Thodex scandal. If you found this enlightening, Make sure to hit that like button, share with fellow crypto enthusiasts, and subscribe for more intriguing insights from the financial world. Until next time, stay safe and invest wisely.